Alright guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we got an update on a cannon that I've converted into a piston hybrid. It's basically the same concept as the pistonless, but uh, <laughs> has the same timing basically as the pistonless, but now it does have a piston, so it's automatic reloading, which is great. And um, yeah, we can make this into a sand stacking cannon, which uh, all you have to do is a simple conversion. So let's watch it work in action. And this cannon really isn't the greatest cannon. It doesn't really shoot that far. And on hybrid cannons, you want the sand and TNT to stick together, like in the same block, uh, which it will be a lot more effective. But the, the reason why we make these style cannons, these really simple cannons, is because just that. It's simple and you can build it much faster than these complicated cannons. And I've used this cannon several, several times. And I would prefer simple and fast cannons, which doesn't cost a lot of resources because a lot of cannons with server timings and stuff, they blow up. So might as well make it cheap and simple as possible. And I think that's what you guys wanted. So um, yeah, this cannon, it does work pretty good. And I'll show you how to convert it into a stand, sand stacking cannon, which uh, is really, really simple and really effective. So all you have to do is break the sand and then add a repeater here, put on two ticks, wait a little bit for the sand to drop down in the cobweb and there you go you got a sand stacking cannon bam look at all that it's a lot of sand so it's stacks probably around 10 I'd say close to 10 so if this cannon was up higher and you needed to blow up to get in the chest or something at this Y level you just stack a couple of shots worth of sand and there you go so it's pretty effective for how simple it is and if you just want a regular hybrid you just take away that repeater and there you go and you can also add a barrel but it's really not super effective because uh, basically how it works is the sand or the TNT uh, will blast the sand and the TNT on the barrel and it basically reduces the amount of power or how far it can go. So get away slime. You don't belong here. So so that's basically it. I wouldn't really recommend for this cannon to build barrels unless you really know how to use it because it does require a lot more TNT. And that's basically it guys. So thank you guys for watching and yeah what you see is what you get so really no tutorial. Uh, there you go. Thanks for watching.